NFTs are definitely one of the hottest topics not only in the investing space right now but greatly beyond that. However, are there scams in this space? Most definitely. And also, it's very likely that many NFTs will become worthless not too long into the future. Now, does that mean that all NFTs will become worthless eventually? Well, definitely not in my opinion, because some will not only leave behind a legacy as one of the first few and most popular NFTs, but also greatly appreciate in value given their scarcity. Of course! And so in my opinion, there definitely is some, albeit speculative, opportunity to invest in some of these what you think will be winning NFTs. And when it comes to investing in NFTs or listing them if you're a creator, OpenSea has been the most popular platform. However, there can be quite a bit of clutter on it, even though it does have some of the most well-known and renowned uh, products and brands such as PepsiCo, um, The Sandbox, you know, your traditional Board 8 Yacht Club, um, and CryptoPunks and the like, right? There is also quite a lot of clutter because it essentially allows basically anyone to list projects and a lot of times they're like imitation projects of what might already be popular on the platform so it can sometimes be a bit difficult to uh, speculate on some of the better projects that aren't already priced beyond the average person's wallet look what i found in my pocket look a year's salary right here and so in today's video, I'm not only going to showcase 8 different NFT marketplaces that each have something unique to offer beyond OpenSea that'll give people a reason to use them in addition to OpenSea, right? And also for my last platform, which is also my favorite, I'll share some of my strategy on how I was able to make about 500% on one of my NFTs. It's showtime! And so the very first platform I want to get into for you guys is the Binance NFT marketplace. Now if you're a crypto investor, you probably have heard of Binance before as one of the largest, if not the largest, um, maybe Coinbase is the largest but anyway Binance is a huge one um, for traditionally buying and selling and trading cryptocurrencies but now or recently they've been getting into NFTs as you can see here right and uh, besides being its own full-fledged NFT marketplace uh, again similar to OpenSea and by the way you spend the Binance coins to buy um, NFTs on this platform which you can easily convert into by purchasing any or using you know your your own currency to buy some of their Binance coins with their platform or using a different current uh, cryptocurrency like Bitcoin or Ethereum to convert into their finance token uh, so that's quite easy to do um, so besides being their own NFT marketplace like a traditional one they also have some cool uh, cool features such as and this is what I'm trying to highlight with each platform right they each have something somewhat unique that makes them a little bit different or uh, have some additional features compared to OpenSea and so with Binance NFT they have something as you can see on the top here they not only have these mystery boxes Boxes, but this is mainly linked to uh, the gaming IGO and so what this means is if I click into it you can basically participate in um, these initial game offerings which means you can sort of invest in assets NFT assets from uh, certain upcoming games and you can look at each of these games uh, these are just their own projects right you can essentially investigate each of these game projects such as this one era 7 game of truth just I'm just clicking on a random one and this one is about to drop um, the game is about to come out hence IGO initial game offering um, and they basically explain the project what the game is they have sometimes they'll have like gameplay uh, stuff and this is uh, something that you could buy as an NFT right like a fantasy box so it's like a mystery box where if you buy it you get minted a sort of random NFT asset for the game right so this is definitely something cool that uh, people might want to look into to invest into that makes uh, that gives them sort of additional sort of streamlined option for gaming compared to OpenSea. And now moving on to the second platform and this is one that definitely flies under the radar but once I mention some of the names involved with this project or this website uh, people will definitely know or recognize them. And that is Larva Labs and in case that wasn't enough to sort of ring a bell in your head they are the uh, essentially company or the people behind the infamous uh, very infamous and famous CryptoPunks NFTs, right? That's pretty much the original, uh, one of the most valuable and coveted uh, projects out there, right? But the reason I'm highlighting Larva Labs is that not only are they a marketplace and not only do they have CryptoPunks on their marketplace and website, they also, as you can see, have different projects as well, right? They actually make uh, different projects for people to, you know, different NFTs for people to invest in, right? So as you can see, if I just scroll through, there are already a bunch of these. Um, such as if I click on MeBits is an upcoming voxel character NFT. So voxels are sort of these 3D, um, sort of like as you can see here, there's sort of these 3D um, 
models that are used in games like Minecraft, Roblox, and the Sandbox, right? So there's definitely, uh, I haven't looked into it that closely, but there could potentially be integration with projects such as Decentraland or the Sandbox, which are sort of metaverse NFT projects as well, right? Because especially the Sandbox, which uses voxel art, which is basically the same art style as this, right? And I imagine the uh, programming might be somewhat compatible as well but we'll see um so as you can see here these are the me bits and if i scroll down it, it sort of briefly describes the project first of all and if i scroll down you can also see the offers that are currently live on their marketplace right and which means people can go and you know purchase some of these um you need to connect the metamask account which i haven't done so yet i do have metamask and i explained how to you know set one up in one of my previous videos and i'll link that below but anyhow, you can check out MeBits here, and also whenever they're uh, about to drop a new project, it's likely that you know you might be able to participate in some kind of minting as well. So that's de that's definitely another yet yeah, another uh, opportunity that some people might want to be uh, a part of. Moving on to the third marketplace, and if you're a sports fan, specifically basketball and NBA fan, uh, you might have heard of this one before, and it's called Top Shot. It's still in beta, although uh, I believe it's only accessible from the U.S. Um, I'm actually using a VPN to access it. And you can you know download a free vpm like siphon vpn that's what i'm using but anyway don't quote me on that um here you can actually purchase nba related nfts right really really cool stuff um and you want to look for more iconic if you're going to be investing and i'll go into more strategy later on towards the end of the video but if you're going to be investing in any of these uh you know projects uh, and NFTs, you might want to look for something that's not only, you know, NFT uh, or the NBA itself rather is already a very popular and well known brand, right? Um, but even within the NBA franchise, you want to look for memorable moments, uh, memorable players, um, you know really really unique things even and specific things even within the franchise right that's in my opinion sort of a formula for not guaranteed nothing's really guaranteed right but a formula for a higher chance of success when it comes to appreciation of a certain you know collectible these are collectibles right nfc's in the future and as you can see even on the cnbc article it says that people have already spent over 230 million buying and trading digital collectibles of nba highlights right so again uh really really special highlights might be the nfts you want to look for if you want to look for something to invest in that's in my opinion it's not really financial advice but again it's sort of something that worked for me uh for one of my other nfts and i'll share that in soon um this article was posted about a year ago so now it's probably even more popular right with how you know the space the nft space has grown in general and now for platforms number four and i say platforms with an s uh plural because i actually combined several marketplaces into one uh item for this uh and that's because of how similar they are and they're sort of all in the metaverse and gaming space and so um essentially they are multiple platforms which which includes the sandbox marketplace which is by the way in case you don't know the sandbox is a uh still in beta or alpha i actually tried out its alpha not too long ago and I have a re review of it on my channel but anyway the sandbox is a uh, sort of metaverse type game where people can also create and buy and sell nfts right and um, the cool thing about the sandbox is that it's garnered a ton of amongst all the metaverse plays um, the games out there the sandbox has garnered one of the most uh, largest amounts of funding from corporations celebrities and brands and whatnot right if i just click on home here you'll be able to see that uh well this noob dogs involved uh dead mouse is involved and lots of these various brands and just investment firms have even bought land within the sandbox and these are sort of tied to the blockchain right so there are they are sort of nfts in and of themselves so sandbox nfts might be a great way to invest in if you want sort of a metaverse related nft uh or if you want to buy land within the sandbox that could work as well although they might be a bit pricey right now um and besides that so i did say there might be there are not might be uh multiple marketplaces within category number four and the other one i wanted to highlight is axie infinity because this is um even more popular than the sandbox in terms of market cap in terms of the crypto token that they use in their ecosystem the axie i think it's the axie infinity token that's what it's called uh but in case you don't know yet uh axie infinity is a 
again, NFT based game where it's sort of somewhat like Pokemon where you uh, raise and breed and play and fight with um, these little pets, axes, and the pets themselves are actually NFTs, right? And so these pets are, uh, and you can also play to earn, which makes, that's just why the game is so popular right now, especially in Southeast Asia. But anyway, the marketplace is where some of these axes, these pets can be bought and sold, right? And as you can see, uh, previously, um, axes have been a lot more expensive, but now, as you can see, some of the f lower prices, especially right now with like a crypto, correction so to speak it might drop even more but i'm not here to talk about that in this video uh but some of these axes you can see can be you know a lot more affordable compared to what they were you know a few months ago right so looking at this i might actually even um try dabbling in this game but you know i'll definitely update you if i do but axie infinity is another one very popular and also has this marketplace specifically for these axes which means you will have to do some research um and learn about the game and what's good right what types of pets are actually good and um sort of learn how to value them before you oh, well, my, my, well i suggest before you start even trying to invest in this category of nfts and so um, these are two websites of these types of metaverse games with marketplaces nft marketplaces um some other ones include decentraland um well that's the only other one i can think of right now but there are definitely some other ones out there um including right the binance nft games that i just spoke about um which also you know you can buy nfts on binance now moving on to platform number five this one is called nifty gateway i actually spoke about this quite a while ago on my another video but uh, i want to highlight it again especially since they've sort of updated their website as well and the cool thing about nifty gateway is that first of all it is uh, owned under gemini which was created by the winklevoss twins or winklevoss twins if you've heard of them before uh, but essentially gemini is its own large cryptocurrency exchange uh, so nifty gateway is quite legit in that sense and another uh, unique thing about nifty gateway is that it really tries to curate or uh, basically identify artists, actual artists with you know a body of work and who have credentials um, to have those artists you know host their NFTs essentially, right? So it's a very very artsy, uh, a bit more high end, right? If you look at some of the prices, well, this one is like ninety nine. This one's starting from ninety nine dollars, so this one's at sixty sixty or sold for sixty dollars. So some of them can be relatively cheaper, right? But Nifty Gateway is special for its much more artistic. Uh, touch to its NFTs and one of the criteria that I personally look for in certain NFTs is how easy it is to replicate right sure like for some of the NFTs especially you definitely heard of the memes where people have you know just been, been able to screenshot NFTs and just basically steal them right even though they don't have the actual you know the actual same one um, and they don't they can't prove that they have the same one like with like the blockchain or whatever but uh, that's why I also think having difficult to replicate NFTs can make them have even higher value right because that gives people another reason to own them aside from just having that registry you know on the blockchain if with a screenshot, you kind of have to do that, or with a JPEG rather, you have to do that. But uh, with more like 3D, right, like animated, etc., um, even interactable NFTs, it's much you know easier to just show people, and it's much more convincing rather uh, to show people that you know that is indeed your new unique NFT without necessarily having to show people like the blockchain or like whatever unique uh, you know identification number that you have with it. Right. Now onto platform number six, we have Maker's Place, which is a little bit similar to Nifty Gateway in that it also curates artwork, um, which means that compared to say OpenSea, where pretty much anybody can list their work, right? Uh, whether or not they just want to make a quick buck or whatever, uh, both Nifty Gateway and Maker's Place, which is this one, um, they look at uh, you know people who are actually they actually sort of vet and check whoever's uploading projects onto their uh, you know platforms and basically they have a filter for who to allow and who not to allow right basically uh the the projects that are on their platforms are generally going to be coming from you know cre you know credible um artists if, if that's the word or legit artists right and um, another cool thing i like about makers play specifically though is that they tend to do a lot of co collaborations with popular culture right for example um they did one with or they did some with certain celebrities like shakira uh boss logic who does a lot of marvel comic um drawings illustrations if you've heard of him and also um as you can see here there's like kobe bryant i mean this is not a specifically a kobe bryant nft but it's one that involves it's one that 
you know, somebody else, this person called Walter Loss, Loose, Loss Jr., you know, did on Kobe Bryant. So there's definitely a lot more sort of pop culture and relevant, uh, culturally relevant content on here, which I really appreciate. And what you can also do is subscribe to their um, email list where when they have a new drop and new projects, they'll actually email you and notify you, you know, if you're interested in that kind of uh, investment. And onto platform number seven, we have Looksware, which actually has been doing quite well even compared to OpenSea in terms of traffic. And besides being, you know, your standard NFT marketplace with some of the large projects on here, as you can see with a lot of these crypto punks, right? Uh, it also has something unique in that you can actually earn rewards from trading, which is buying and selling NFTs and earning its, you know, tokens. So um, what it does is it basically awards you um, these look looks tokens, its own native crypto token, if you just use your platform, right? So whether it be buying NFTs, selling NFTs, and uh, even staking looks, right? So uh, what you can do is take your rewards and you can basically store them on the uh, website and then you can earn like interest on it, right? It's kind of ridiculous what the interest is. And so I would just not really rely on it being like very high for a long time. And not only is not only that, but the token price could be extremely volatile, right? But I would just take it as sort of a bonus to uh, basically just buying and selling, you know, NFTs, on the platform. And as you can see here, this is sort of the FAQ page where it explains how much um, looks tokens one can earn through trading. Um, and there is a formula for it, but I'm not really gonna dive into it because it actually varies depending on how much total trading volume um, the website you know, or the marketplace had during the day uh, compared to your trading volume or how much you traded during that day. So it really depends and fluctuates depending on the day. But if you wanted to look at it, um, this is basically you know how it works you can check it out on their website and finally last but not least at number eight we have vv which is also my favorite nft marketplace and i did already previously do a deep dive on this platform and i'll link that video down below but things have actually changed for the better for this platform and are actually uh there are actually a lot of exciting things to look forward to as well very soon and um uh, besides there being new uh nfts um new brands even that have come on board to the platform but the NFT itself that I bought right before my previous video is actually now worth six times as much or almost six times as much as when I initially bought it. And now VV is especially awesome in my opinion because it's got a lot of recognizable brands and ones that will definitely last for a very long time or continue to be popular for a very long time. Like Marvel is obviously extremely popular, right? DC Comics as well, uh, Disney characters in general, and even fashion brands and other artistic brands and also other movies like back to the future and the list goes on and they also have like virtual comic books which is really cool and besides that they mainly focus on sort of 3d and animated nfts and they also have their own showroom where you can essentially put a bunch of your nfts inside and showcase it to people and it also has an ar uh function where you can put it in like ar and people can sort of visit it uh if they have the app as well stuff like that and there's also going to be you know new stuff in the future uh for this app as well and so this is especially cool because with these brands right and um it being one of the only platforms it's not the only platform able to sort of secure these brand deals compared to any other nft platform or most other nft platforms and the fact that it has so many of these uh, makes them have a clear edge in my opinion over you know basically any other nft marketplace out there in fact um, vv is if you combine the total market cap of all the nfts on the platform they are i believe number three right now so they're actually somewhat under the radar in terms of the mainstream you know attention where the mainstream attention is but they're actually already huge right in comparison that's what she said <laughs> And now when it comes to my own NFT investment in the platform, and by the way, this won't necessarily work every time or for everyone, but it just happened to work, you know, the time that I did it. So just full disclaimer there. But my strategy was essentially to look for not only a popular character and brand in Spider-Man specifically, which is, you know, Marvel and it's one of the more popular Marvel characters as well. Um, but I also wanted to find something unique even for Spider-Man so that, you know, in case, and this is inevitable, right, that Vivi will definitely and 
Marvel definitely release tons more, maybe hundreds or thousands more, uh, let's say in the next few years, Spider-Man NFTs, right? Just different poses or whatever, different costumes. And so the one that I picked was actually a very, very special costume. It's uh, Spider-Man wearing like a Doctor Strange cape and he's sort of floating in the air. So he's kind of flying. So it's like Spider-Man with like extra superpowers. And that was the NFT was actually um, celebrating or came out with this uh, animated series called Marvel's What If, which actually showcases lots of these weird scenarios that might, you know, in parallel universes, so to speak, or the multiverse that happened in, in Marvel. So these are sort of bizarre, uh, even for Marvel, right? And so I thought this was very unique, even for Spider-Man, and thought, and also thought that something similar, very similar, might not or that it's very unlikely that something so similar will come out again, right? That was my rationale when purchasing this uh, NFT. So when I bought it, it was about $50 or 50 gems. You can convert you know, one to one dollars to gems. And now if we look at the marketplace, it's worth about almost 300 gems, right? Which is amazing, right? But one catch is that um, gems are not currently not convertible back into dollars. So I can't just, you know, cash out uh, in, you know, actual cash. I can sell my NFT on the marketplace, but it'll just give me gems, which I can then use to do whatever, like buy other NFTs if I want to, right? However, in the future, um, I think that there's still yet uh, additional integration to be done with the crypto or the crypto token on VV, wherein uh, you, you'll likely be able to convert your gems into OMI token, which is actually what's backing the gems. OMI token, the cryptocurrency, can then likely be sold and traded for other cryptocurrencies or even like actual, you know, fiat currency. And uh, another rumor that I've heard, this is just a rumor, is that OMI token, which is again, what's uh, backing the VV platform, their own native cryptocurrency, OMI token will become available for trade, buy and sell on lots of large several large cryptocurrency exchanges. So that's definitely something that I might look forward to and could potentially um, further boost the prices of not only the token, but their NFTs. And that is pretty much all I wanted to show you guys in today's video. Let me know which platforms you'd like to try out. And also you can check out my YouTube courses, one of which is free on my website. The other premium version has two free video lessons for you to watch with no commitments. You can definitely make money from YouTube with a hobby like I have done with several channels and even use that money to invest in whatever you like, right? So with that, I'll be sure to check out my courses, my other videos as well, and I will see you in the next video. Peace.